Hey everybody. I was thinking uh, this week about um, what a great time to think about where we're at in life and what we're giving our life to and what would it be like to, you know, control the world, the world as you know it anyway, to be the, the one person in charge. There are three people in history who have been that. You had Alexander the Great, who was a Greek, who ran the world as pretty much it was known at the time. You had Julius Caesar, who was the Roman who ran the world, everything that was worth running at that time. And then you had a third one, Charlemagne. What's interesting is how these three ended up. Alexander the Great, um, he partied a little too hard after a big victory that he had militarily and uh, was dead within 10 days later. Didn't really leave that much of a legacy. Julius Caesar, you know the story, his own guys turned on him and killed him. That didn't turn out that good. But Charlemagne, pretty important guy. Uh, he's considered the father of Europe. In fact, uh, most of Europe is Christian or was Christian uh, because of his reign. He brought administration like it had never been seen before. But when he came time to pass, he passed of natural causes, he left specific orders of how to be uh, buried. And that was in a, uh, a casket that had him sitting upright with his index finger sitting on a throne, his index finger pointed to scripture on one specific verse. What verse? The verse was Mark chapter 8, verse 36. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world but forfeit his soul? He went on to change the world and left a much stronger legacy because he built his life on scripture. One time, Trish and I were in Europe, in fact, in Germany, went to see one of the most famous castles in all the world. It's Neuschwanstein. And uh, it was built by a guy by the name of Mad King Ludwig. Mad King Ludwig spent 17 years building this place. It's the, by the way, the castle that Cinderella Disney Castle is, is uh, kind of modeled after. It's unbelievable. It's huge. It's magnificent. He gave 17 years and basically blew the Bavarian economy building this thing. So much so, they had him removed from office. A couple of days later, he's found dead. Now, did he commit suicide? Did he drown? Nobody ever really knows. Was he murdered? Could be. What's, what's interesting about that, 17 years building this thing, he only spent 11 nights sleeping in this castle. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, castle on a hillside, and then lose this kingdom that you spent your life building? It's a great time to think about what are you giving your life towards? Is it something that will outlive you? Is it your kingdom or is it his kingdom? If it is his kingdom, it goes on forever and ever and ever. What a great time to sit down with the family and say, hey, let's talk about priorities. What really matters and whose kingdom are we building? We love you guys. We're praying for you. Hope you're doing good. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. God bless you.